Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. We've all seen the Windows 10 boot screen, but have you ever wanted to change the Windows flag to another image to customize your system a bit? Well this tutorial will show you exactly how to do it, but you need to have a couple of things to make it all work. First is a UEFI based system. UEFI is short for Unified Extensible Firmware Interface and is a replacement for the basic input-output system, or BIOS, used on older systems. You can check this by pressing Windows key R and typing msinfo32 and hitting enter. On the right side of the window, there will be an entry for BIOS mode. If it says UEFI, you're all set. But if it says legacy, sadly this method won't work for you. You'll also need to disable Secure Boot. This is done by opening up the Start menu, clicking on the Power Options, holding down the Shift key, and clicking Restart. From the menu that appears, choose Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then UEFI Firmware Settings. Each motherboard is going to have a different design and layout for this menu, but you want to look around for the Secure Boot option and disable it. Once you do that, you can restart your computer and log back into Windows 10. Now, a fair warning before we go any further. You do this at your own risk. What we're about to do is modify part of your system's UEFI firmware, and there is a chance that something could go wrong and possibly render your system unbootable. It's recommended to create a recovery disk and backup any data that you can't live without. Both the author of this tool and myself take no responsibility for any damage that could occur. This video was created for educational purposes only, and the software that we're going to use comes with absolutely no warranty. With all of that out of the way, head on over to the link in the video description to the Hack BGRT GitHub page. Download the latest release and extract the zip file to a folder somewhere on your computer. I'll just put it on my desktop. Next, you want to create the custom boot logo that you want to use. I'm going to use my channel logo, and I used Photoshop to create it, but you can use MS Paint if you want. I'd recommend making the image size somewhere in the 200x200 200 200 pixels to 300x300 300 300 pixels range. If there's any transparent space in the image, it needs to be replaced with solid black. Then, save the image as a 24-bit BMP file, and give it the name splash.bmp. This is very important. If you use another format, this won't work. Next, open up the hack BGRT folder and run setup.exe. Click yes on the user account control prompt. You'll now be presented with two command prompt windows. One of them will have a list of options. Press the I key to install hack BGRT. A notepad window will open up with the configuration information. You can read through this if you want, but to change the boot logo we have to close out of it. Next, an MS Paint window will appear with Hack BGRT's default boot logo opened up. Now this is where things can get a little bit tricky, but I'll walk you through exactly what you have to do. Hack BGRT mounts the EFI system partition as the A drive in Windows or the B drive if you have a floppy disk drive installed as I do. But you can't access the drive outside of the MS Paint window. So from the Paint window, click on File and Open. Click on This PC in the side column and you'll now see the EFI partition. Again, in my case it's the B drive. Double click on it and then go into the EFI folder and then the Hack BGRT folder. Next, locate the custom boot logo that you just made in a separate window. It's easiest to just have the file placed on your desktop. Copy this image and then paste it into the open file window from MS Paint. The system will ask you if you want to override the existing file. Click replace. Then close out of the file browser without opening up any other file and then close MS Paint. The command prompt window will inform you that hack BGRT is now installed, so do as it says and press any key to quit. And that's it. All you have to do is restart your computer to see your custom boot logo in place of the Windows logo. Thanks to Hack BGRT, this entire process is incredibly easy to do. And it's just as easy to remove your custom boot logo and revert back to the default one. You can do this by opening up the Hack BGRT setup file again and pressing R to remove it. Just like that, the standard Windows logo will return. I hope this tutorial video helped you out, and if it did, be sure to give it a like and get subscribed down below for new videos like this every single week. 
And as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.